In October 2012, at the request of the Biology Department at the University of Central Florida, CNDG embarked upon a project with our partner, Pearson Learning Solutions, designed to move the Biology One undergraduate laboratory to a virtual campus. Working with Michelle Jurgen, Laboratory Course Coordinator for UCF Biology, we began the process of designing virtual 3D immersive activities to bring undergraduate biology into a new dimension of teaching. Together, we have all built a comprehensive educational environment for teaching these laboratories online and virtually, complete with live instructional spaces and innovative laboratory facilities and learning experiences that can only be provided in a virtual world. With more than 3,000 students a year using the system, the benefit to students and faculty has been evident. In the video that follows, they tell their own story in their own words. This is an introductory biology course, and it is required not only by our own majors, but also by other science majors within the College of Science. So we have roughly 4,000 students that take this course. In the past, Biology One had taken two thirds to three quarters of our TA teaching pool just in this one course alone. We needed an alternative to face-to-face -face labs. I just had this magical conversation, as luck would have it, with um, one of the Pearson representatives. She introduced me to CNDG, and it, it has just built from there into what it is now. I don't feel that we are limited by anything other than our imagination in a virtual environment. We can customize it to be what we want it to be, that we can build what we want to build and teach the concepts that we want to teach. The level of interaction that the students have with us, with the teaching staff, was paramount. We can guide them and show them and walk with them and interact with them and, and speak to them. And in a virtual world, they, they ask questions that they otherwise wouldn't ask in a face-to-face -face world. Our modern students tend to be a lot more tech savvy, a lot more interested in these virtual world applications. Especially realistically, a lot of them come from video game backgrounds they just love it, they embrace it, and they, they spend a lot of time here. They, they want to come back and do the labs over and over again. They also will help each other in the environment, and that to me is a beautiful thing. The labs are so varied. Um, we have what essentially amounts to bench labs, where they do a lab that is very similar to what we have done in our face-to-face -face labs, where they are interacting with microscopes or test tubes or running enzyme experiments. And then we also have very extravagant labs Probably my favorite virtual lab is the giant cell. Where the students are actually in a, a giant eukaryotic cell and they're walking along and they can observe different organelles. can go through the process of cell respiration, mitosis and meiosis, um, DNA synthesis. And we have other labs that are out in, a, in very large environments. The Hardy-Weinberg lab is in an island jungle. It's varied for them. I also really like the lab that was put together for Hardy-Weinberg and for Mendeleyan genetics. So it's just 
really great models to show students abstract concepts. The um, genetics lab is a very detailed alien um, landing site lab where the students are walking around and interacting with different aliens and, and trying to solve some genetic problems related to those aliens. So we really have a lot of different labs available to the students. It's not all one format. It's, it's varied for them. You don't get that from somebody sitting there talking to you or you reading a book. You need to see it. The support system from CNDG is absolutely amazing. The support we've received from our CNDG team has been truly remarkable. They're they are always there to help us. They're always on top of everything. Anything we need, they the re their response is literally within minutes, if not seconds. They do an amazing job of training all of us, the TAs, myself, and they often come up with amazing ideas like the giant cell. That's an incredible concept and it works so well. For the future, yes, we are. We plan to continue using this virtual environment for our labs. I feel like it is the ultimate customized and customizable lab because CNDG built exactly what I asked them to build. It sounds cliche, but it really, to me, is if we can dream it, we can do it.